Hey everybody, what's up? Circus here, Herf over there, coming to you with another deck analysis video. Today we're going to be talking about Blue Eyes again. Uh, we brought in former MCS champ Luke Tyler to talk about a deck that he just won a tournament with. How you doing, Luke? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, um, I won the championship circuit Sunday, um, I think it was a week ago, um, where I played a very trap-heavy build of Blue Eyes. Okay, Luke, so tell us about your deck. Yeah, um, so... I play Blois, um, which which a deck that, that has become relevant with its newest support wave. And um, um, one thing that I did differently is I played a lot more traps than um, a lot of builds. Which is mainly because um, I like purple cards, you know? I, I like saying trap cards. Um, but also because um, I think that a control build of Blois, it, it does really well in a meta of like a lot of combo um, aggressive decks. Um, so why did about. you pick these traps? So um, I, I say that the best ones for me were Floodgate um, and Raigeki Break. Mm -hmm. um, I think that people have established that, um, that that Break is probably one of the best traps for the deck um, because it can discard stone. And so, um, unlike Divine Wrath, it's not very situational. So you can use it at all, all sorts of points in time. Mm -hmm. um, and having that kind of added benefit of this kind of stone is really, really nice. Um, a definite downside to it is that a lot of cards do float. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, um, it hits backer as well, so it can hit like their spells and traps. So yeah, it's, it's a really, really solid trap card in the deck. I see that Typhoon in your uh, uh, side deck. What is that for? <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so that Typhoon in the side is, is almost um, exclusively um, for Dark Magician, with the added benefit oh, okay. of, of, of Element Saver. Um, the, the idea being being that like the main cards um, I was hitting with it um, would be Circle. Um, mm -hmm. So if I was doing that every time, I'd rather just, just not pay life points to do it. And so that's something that it worked right, although after the tournament I took it out of my side deck because I wanted Cosmic Cyclone for matchups like Cyber Dragon, which don't have any face spell traps. And hitting the overflow there is really, really important. So I prefer Convert Cyclone, I think. Nice. Um, so I noticed one card that uh, is not in this deck that we see in other Blue Eyes decks is the Maiden. Yeah, Maiden. So um, so with Maiden, um, I don't think, I don't think Maiden, Maiden's bad. And, uh, well, and after the tournament, I did try playing one Maiden. Um, but, but I think Maiden's all right if you aren't building your, your deck around it. Um, but the reason I chose not to play it here was because I'm not playing anything apart from um, Break and Sage that triggers it myself. Mm -hmm. so, it, so it almost felt like um, it, it was doing the same thing uh, at, as Bulb in the sense that it was just a tuner to sync with. Um, and the reason why, why I would chose Bulb is because it's a better discard outlet. It's a better card to discard with, with Break and Divine Wrath. Um, although after the tournament, um, no, I, I removed Divine Wrath, which then meant that I had a lot less value in Bulb because I wasn't discarding as much. So after that, I, I then dropped the Bulb um, for a main. Okay. Um, so you yeah. said you're playing kind of like a control version. So, you know, is yeah. that the strength of this deck? Uh, other Blue Eyes decks, it's about getting out uh, the Synchro, Big Beaters, going at it. Uh, what's the strength of this one? Yeah, so... Um, I wanted to I wanted to just try like an absurd number of trap cards because I felt like a really a really good benefit. An absurd um, number. Uh, yeah. Like what number is that? Is that like eight? What is that? Um well in, in, in Blois, so I think nine. nine is definitely <laughs> nine's definitely absurd in Blois. <laughs> um yeah, but um, I wanted to try out nine trap cards because I felt like this the sitting behind like a lot of really beefy guys and a lot of um defensive cards was was really, really strong. Especially, especially when a deck has very good recovery as well. Um, it, it really gave a deck a lot of uh, long variety in a growing game. Um, and yeah, well, I did drop the trap cards down quite a bit. Um, that's because I put in cards of consonants after the tournament. Oh, okay. Um, so you, you've already moved on past this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, this was like the first tournament that I played with lawyers. I didn't actually... Okay. I didn't actually didn't actually like pick up the deck properly until that morning because oh my uh, god this, but <laughs> because this was the day after the mcs um it's like i think it's a good build 
Um, but but I do think that playing cards consonants is really really good. Um, and, and so and so, but I don't think I would necessarily move back to nine trap cards. Although I do, but I do like playing a, a lot of trap cards. So um, you never played Blue Eyes in this uh, version before. You just pick it up, throw it together. What would be considered yeah. maybe a meme version, and you go enter a tournament and win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty easy. Yeah. It's just that um, easy, but... folks. <laughs> buy blue eyes, buy some traps, you can do it, no problem. Exactly. Um and and then over coming week, um, I played it in a lot more events with the deck, but was I, I found myself like really, really enjoying the deck. It's it's a lot of fun. Um yeah, and yeah, um, well, there was a Japanese point battle room um, that I won playing, playing a build using I think five traps with one cross in my brain, um, and cards constants. Nice. Yeah, I'm, 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 I do really like playing a lot of traps because I feel as though if a deck opens poorly, which does happen a lot, um, you you really want like those traps to be able to fall back on. Yeah, it can extend a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, what are some of the weaknesses? Is it just bricking? Um, bricking is definitely a big weakness. I um, mean, if, if you play, if you anyone who's played Blois will be aware that sometimes the deck will just draw completely unplayable, um, mm. or it will draw like um, Setstone Pass, which mm. it, which in twenty nineteen Setstone Pass was broken, but like that's not that great anymore. <laughs> it was broken. <laughs> You're not even <laughs> lying broken. there. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, like it, it's playable if you open like setstone pass, um, but it's not. It's really not ideal when you're having to deal with above average hands from other top tier deck. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but I feel like one thing which a lot of people do is they play uh, sphere creeper, which I think is really nice. I like sphere a lot, but I feel like I would rather draw a card, a card like floodgate trap hole and sphere creeper, um, simply because I think floodgate trap hole improves bad hands a lot more. Of course, it gives you like a lot more time to draw onto what you need compared to Sphere Creeper. So, what were your best matchups in the tournament? Uh, ooh, about, see, I don't even know how to answer that because if I Blue Eyes is kind of like it's a very like all rounded sort of deck. Mm-hmm. Um, since that, it, it doesn't really have any absurdly strong or absurdly weak matchups. Um, I'm using the word absurd again, but um, yeah, there's no six Sams, right? There's no six Sams to come in here and yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, I don't know because, because it, any deck I would say is the best matchup. Um, you, you could then say that, that it does have those weak points, like against Dark Lord, for example. Um, if you summon like a free cave with another Blue Eyes, it's hard for Dark Lord. Um, but, but, but then again, um, Dark Lord, yeah, Dark Lord can just completely overwhelm you sometimes. Um, so yeah, it's weird actually. Um, but I think the side deck. Um, does contribute to a lot of matchups. For example, like um, with Lunalight, if there was no side deck for that matchup, it would be extremely hard. So I say Lunalight is definitely um, not a strong matchup at all. If you take the side, if you take the side deck out of uh, consideration. So if you're doing ladder play, you run into yeah. Lunalights. It could be a tough matchup. Yeah, um, b- b- uh, because if you look at most Blois main decks, they have no outs to the Saber Dancer. Right, because yeah. it can hit the field at a pretty high attack. And you really yeah, don't have but, a way to boost them up. You don't have a way to turn them sideways. or Yeah, well, um, unless you have like um, a Sphere Karibo and hope that and hope they attack, attack into it. Um, so yeah, it's either like a Sphere Karibo or Floodgate Trap Hole, and then that's it. So, so if they like, can establish a Saber Dancer really early on, it can be very difficult for Blois to come back from. If they don't, if they don't like overextend into this food creeper or something. Uh, I did notice while I'm looking at the deck here, there isn't a single card in this deck that's below an SR rarity. That, that is true. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the side deck. So, because usually we like to go over is it is it worth getting into? Uh, we discussed this in another video. Uh, Blue eyes. If you're just joining the game, probably isn't worth going into, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you already have like the core from like previous versions of Blue Eyes, would you say it's a pretty yeah. safe investment right now? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, not only is it like a very strong deck right now, but it's a lot of fun too. You can have a lot of fun playing with it. Um, and that's definitely like when there's a deck that you enjoy, there's always that motivation to keep playing it, so you keep, so you get better at it at the same time. Um, 
And I think that's the case with a lot of people right now, the blue eyes, because it's such like it has like a lot more dimensions than like a regular control deck or a regular like unga bunga beatdown deck. Um, like, Wait, blue eyes isn't an unga bunga beatdown deck. What? I'm, 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 we evolved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did like it. I guess in some ways it is pre. It can be quite unga bunga when you go you like um, summon Cosmo, like do some aggro stuff um, mm-hmm. and just kill them. But um, I don't know. I think what what makes it interesting though is is the new synchro stuff um, because that was never a big part of Blaze before. Um, mm-hmm. it, it, we never really had that. Um, until uh, the new Silver Dragon, because those stone is like um, it has always been absurd in Beloys. Uh, I'm going side again. Um, it, it it wasn't really a big part of a synchro engine until Silver Dragon, because stone was mainly good in the deck because of its effects. Whereas now you have stone being good not only for its effects, but because there's a very strong synchro bit as well in uh, Silver Dragon. So you get more utility out of it. Yeah, exactly. Silver Dragon, I'd probably go as far to say, is one of uh, the best, if not the best synchros in the game right now. It's really, really strong. Well, this is definitely a deck we're going to have to keep an eye on moving forward, because like you said, uh, you've already made changes to this one, and we know it's winning other tournaments. So at first, when it, uh, Blue Eyes first uh, got the support out of this la- latest box, everybody was like, I don't know, Blue Eyes might be doo-doo. But now yeah. we're starting to see uh, people getting results with it, so we'll keep an eye on it. And I'd love to have you back, <clears throat> excuse me, in a couple of weeks to go over this deck again and see where it's at. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. All right. So hopefully you guys watching enjoyed what you saw here. And if you did, what do they got to do, Herf? Like, comment, subscribe, join, upvote. Let's wow. Go. All right. Yeah. Do one of those. You'll make us happy. I'm Circus, that's Herf, that's Luke Tyler. We'll see you next time. How's it going, buddy? Uh, you just won a tournament with this deck, right? Yeah, well, I won the uh, championship circuit Sunday, um, uh, two weeks ago. All right. Herf, nice. come on. That was... Well, sorry, I'm, the tournament is starting. I'm checking in and doing all that. What you... Oh, listen to this guy. He's playing at a f***ing tournament, Luke. He's not you even taking this a, serious. You told me it didn't matter, so I said, okay.